Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we went out hard in Southern Illinois. We hit up Lincoln Trail State Park. Then after that, we had some amazing Mexican food at Travis Mexican Grill. Then we reached our ultimate destination that day, which was Casey, Illinois, and explored big things in the small town. However, we had run out of time, so we didn't find everything on our first go around. Which leads to the second go around where we cover the rest of big things in a small town and even go way beyond that. We also explore a couple of covered bridges. So you do not want to miss out on part two of this adventure. So it starts just short, a short distance from her apartment. We are just driving, traveling down. Before I turn on the radio on, let's first look at this cop right here. Okay, Effingham, Watt 77, just sitting parked in the road. But you stopped somebody, but they stopped somebody else for doing that. There's this other like YouTube channel. He drives around and... Okay, I thought I had more of that, but I guess not. This dash cam was tripping during this whole entire trip, and that is not the only missing footage issue that is going to plague this trip. But I'll show it the best that I can. We are continuing on about a half a mile away from this point. Now, let's see what we can find on the radio here in Effingham. That's that TikTok song. Nope, not what I'm looking for. Next station. Whoa, 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 that's kind of inappropriate. Certainly can't believe that. This is a family video. All right, next. Okay, that's quite a bit played out at this point. Definitely ain't trying to hear that. It's a good album though. Next. Hi, my name is Jared and I was recently diagnosed with SPS small penis syndrome. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, bro. Hmm. Wow. Well, anyway, next station. Let me tell you. You my little boo thing. That's one of her songs right there. I would play that, but we don't want the copyright trolls to come after us. So unfortunately, next station. Wow, that's quite a bit too depressive and heavy. All right, that's it. That's enough for the radio. I'm just going to put a playlist on. Yeah, this is more like it. Now, let's enjoy the drive to our first destination, which is the Cumberland County Covered Bridge. It's easier to stay here Safe in my family
my shoulders I'm daring and I'm bold The way I had is open oh, 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 oh. Why it's only the beginning I feel it like I'm
Time to go back. Look what you did.
is that? Oh, these are the shoes. I was gonna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, there's a sign that says not to. Yes. <laughs> I can say the names again. Alien Snot, Four Poos, Gamer Goop, Toxic Slime, Bug Barf, Swamp Juice, Monster Mutt, Monster Mucus.
I have a magic wand. Vivity buffy. <laughs> Walking and choking around is surely to get one hungry. Last time, we just stood outside of Cilantro's Mexican Grill and took pictures. This time, they are actually going to eat there. Is it better than Chava's? Let's find out. I ordered the same thing as last time, and unfortunately, although it is, it does fit the mold for an authentic taco, it did not live up to what I expected and the previous experience I had at Chava's. The meat was a little bit too tough and the sauce just was not spicy enough for me. So because of that, it is going to be a whole 14 points lower over than Chava's. So that would be 74 out of 100. So, while not the best, most certainly not, most certainly not the worst. So it was still tasty though, regard none, nonetheless, but just not what I was expecting. And she also did not really like the texture of her meal as well. Now, before we head to Martinsville, enjoy some little outtakes that we had at this restaurant.
Dude, I could like fall flat on my face if I let go. <laughs> Brett. Thank you.
saying have it a diploma. <laughs> Like we're about to be hit by. <laughs> Are you videoing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Travel time. What's that place? Something that's closed for the day. Yeah, so we got the poker ball and the minion. We got the rocking horse, the cactus, the ear corn. The pizza slicer is no longer available, unfortunately. The toy glider, that's what we didn't get. That's the last thing. But it's on the way back to Effingham, so. Perfect time to get. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can find another covered bridge or two. Yeah. That's the side.
it's common for poke, poke, for poke. <laughs> it's common for common folk to, to you know, pay the toll. Cause, cause you know, somebody, somebody was walking here. They, they had their horse and carriage. That's where this came, this here came from. And then they, a horse rider was walking his swine. You know, and that's where this one came from. I was psyched to see you guys to see that little, little, little swine on a leash with a horse. <laughs> that was, that was insane right there. I was sitting here watching that pig <laughs> down the road. <laughs> no, interesting shit. <laughs> After this, we backtrack to Marshall for our bathroom break. You don't need to see that. Plus, we just went back to KC after Marshall. There's no point in showing that drive because I already showed it in part one of this video. So I'm just going to skip right forward to the final attraction that we looked at, which is the toy glider. And then after that, enjoy some Aurora action that we caught on Dash Jam as we leave where the toy glider was held. Okay, this about does it for big things in a small town in Casey. However, we did learn that Casey is not the only place in Illinois where you can see large roadside attractions. So join us as we travel throughout the state to try to find the rest of them. And that is it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Illinois Route 2 series also playing on this channel. I went on parts of Illinois Route 2 where no, that no other travel YouTube channel has went on before. So you do not want to miss it. My channel right now is the only place where you can see it. So check it out. Also, continue to take care of yourselves on the roads. We have to keep the number of fatalities over last year lower. Not even by one. So. Yeah, take care of yourselves on the roads. I know we can do it. Let's go.